Hi there, legal eagles. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Referella. I am the Cinderella of referencing. Stick with me and you will master all things referencing before the clock strikes midnight. In today's video, we will look at entries for books in the bibliography. These belong under the literature heading in your bibliography. My last video covered the layout of the bibliography. Remember, we are using the metaphor of a file cabinet to help wrap your heads around how different headings and source types are listed. Let's recap on two basic principles before we dive in. Number one. For every entry in your bibliography, there must be a corresponding footnote in your text. Number two, the sources under the subheadings of the bibliography are placed in alphabetical order. Now, let's take a closer look in drawer number one for literature. It contains entries for books, collected works, theses and dissertations, conference contributions, journal articles and other literature resources. In this video, I will focus on books, collected works, theses and dissertations. For each of these source types, there is a specific format that you should follow when creating the bibliographic entry. OK, now let's break it down. Remember to precede each literature entry in the bibliography with a footnote format of that source, excluding the page number. A reference to a book in the footnote differs significantly from the full bibliographical reference. Remember, footnotes are short versions of the long bibliographic entry. This is for ease of reference. This is why a title in the footnote can be shortened. Take this book, for example. Malan on Bills of Exchange, Checks and Promissory Notes. The title is very long, so we can shorten it to Malan. This will differ from the full bibliographical reference, so we must help our readers to be in the position to find our sources quickly and easily. You can copy the footnote without the page number and paste it under the literature heading and follow with the bibliographic entry indented under it. Remember to change the format of the copied text to match the bibliography's format, which is to Homer 12 and not 10. One point five line spacing and not single spacing. Let's now take a closer look at the bibliographic entry for a book. A bibliographic entry consists mainly of four elements who, what, where, and when. You can find this information on the front and back of the title page. Look at my example a book by Durkheim. Who? This is the author or authors of the source. What? This is the title of the source. Where? Where the source was published. When? The year of publication. Now, how to build the bibliographic entry? Start with an indent at 1.27. Move the text to the right and keep the indent for the whole entry. As you can see, the author is Emile Durkheim. Now we include his initial, but without any full stops. Then follows the title of the book in italics. The rules of sociological method. Again, no punctuation marks. Lastly, add the publisher, Macmillan Press, the place of publication, New York, and finally, the year of publication, 1982. Note the use of the brackets. Let's move on to collected works. These are books with chapters written by different authors, compiled by an editor or editors. When you see the words edited by or editors or compilers on the title page, you know it is a collected work. Just like before, the footnote is given again, followed by the full bibliographic entry. Remember to indent. Let's compile the entry for your bibliography. The first element of your entry is the who. There we have two authors, 
Freeman and Smith. They are both the editors of the book and the authors of the introduction. Next, provide the what, the title of the chapter in straight quotation marks. Law and language, an introduction. To change curly quotes to straight quotes, search how to change smart quotes to straight quotes in Microsoft Word on Google. Don't forget, we use straight quotations, not the curly ones. Thereafter, insert the word in and give the surname and initials of the book editors. Put EDS in brackets and then type the book title in italics. Then follows the where, the publisher's information. In this case, it is Oxford University Press and the place is Oxford. This is followed by the when, 2012. Note the brackets. Lastly, you provide the first and last page of the chapter. In this case, pages 1 to 7. A thesis and a dissertation are scholarly works submitted for postgraduate qualification. When including these source types in your bibliography, stick to the who, what, where, and when. Again, repeat the footnote, thereafter insert the indent, and start with the author's surname. Like a book, the title of the dissertation is in italics. In brackets, include the type of qualification. This is visible on the title page of the source. For where, use the university's name, where the thesis or dissertation was submitted, followed by the year of submission. Let's recap. All books that you have used must be referred to in detail under the literature heading in the bibliography. Make use of who, what, where and when to organize the information in each entry. Thank you for watching! Tune in next time to learn more about the intricate filing system of the Lawhouse Style Bibliography. Bye!